Welcome right. back to the show. This is Easy Friday. My name is Shiksha Aurora. Remember, you can always find me on social media. The hashtag is Easy Friday at Shiksha Aurora on Twitter. Send me those messages. We've got BV Accurate. If you know you don't know a little about him, I think you need to stay right here and watch on until 10:30 because I'm going to be speaking to the guy about his journey in the industry when it comes to hip hop, rap, when it comes to being a really cool MC. I think he needs to introduce himself. Hey, yo, Nairobi, what's up, man? Call me BV Accurate. I'm happy to be on the show. Yeah, we out here. We out here. We out here. <laughs> we out here. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be as cool as him. Like, <laughs> let me ask you a question. Yeah. Where name BV Accurate come from? It's okay, a very so interesting name, firstly. <laughs> yeah, so um, my government names are Ben Victor. Okay. No, as low as my yeah. two English names. Yeah. So Ben Victor, <laughs> and then uh, Accurate came um, off of uh, being inspired uh, by listening to Common and Logic. Okay. So I was like, Common is a rapper, he's a hip-hop rapper. And Logic is also a hip hop rapper. Mm -hmm. So I was like, if these guys can name themselves, if someone can name himself Logic and right. someone can name himself Common, I might as well call myself Accurate. accurate. <laughs> I love that mentality. I mean, yeah. why not? Yeah, right? why not? Yeah, why Absolutely. not? Absolutely. Yeah. I just saw a song of yours that was playing, Enjoyment. Enjoyment. Right, right before COVID. Yes, right I mean, before COVID. So right before the enjoyment stopped. <laughs> Yes, we, we had to pause and to be indoors and there was a curfew. But yeah, so I did Enjoyment, I think, two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it was not the type of music that I was making. It was kind of like a risk. So, um, but it was a risk that paid off, you know what I'm saying? And um, one of my biggest songs up to date and yeah, still playing in the clubs. So yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty cool song. Yeah. I mean, what kind of music are yeah. you into? I mean, you said not the kind of music that you would do. Yeah. So what, what's your niche? What's your genre of music that you, my you like to... Hip -hop and, um, uh, my genre is hip-hop. And my genre is hip-hop. I've been rapping since 2014. Oh, nice. Yeah, um, fresh off of high school rapping with the likes of Calligraph, Basco Buff, Timmy Blanco. Drop me some bars right now. As for me and my house, we spit bars on a regular. The field of my art, I yeah, talk like I'm Dracula. Hey. No wonder everybody on the streets want my cellular digits. But I'll be making moves, switching up so spectacular mystery. Hey. See you the <laughs> Yeah, let me leave it at that. <laughs> Okay, so okay, nice I hear you, I yeah, hear you, yeah, nice and flow, easy. You know. <laughs> I felt it, the, yeah, the flow was the flow smooth, smooth, it was yeah. flowing. <laughs> yes. Right, so yeah. why, why, why aren't you doing more of rap? Okay, so yeah, man, the fans, hey, the fans, shout out to the fans. Every time I'm out in the club, they're like, yo, BV, um, when is the next music coming? Mm. When are you dropping? So yeah, um, uh, the MC money is good. Right? It's, be it's, it's sweet. It's better than the music money. I was just going to um, ask you that. Is yeah. it better than the music oh, money? it's better than the music money. And um, shout out to Hustle Sasa. I, the last project that I dropped was last year. It's called Suzime Debe. Mm -hmm. um, I dropped it in October and I put it up on Hustle Sasa, a platform where like, um, you can like different, you can sell your music, you can sell clothes, you can sell stuff. Shout out to Hustle Sasa. I made, I remember, I started selling my music off of Hustle Sasa. I put my price point on a thousand. And I remember in the first week I made like 30k and I was like, what is going on? Okay. <laughs> Imagine. You know, because like, um, and even just off of the confidence that I had putting out the, the project, mm. um, that's why the price, on, price point was at a thousand. Um, artists, I've seen fellow artists probably price, putting their price points at 250, yeah. 200, my yeah. going on at 250. Yeah. Thousand kind of you know your value. Come on. <laughs> yeah, so like um, with the music, the last project I dropped was Usuzime Debe, a five track EP. It had um, very notable producers. I had a producer who produced Nipsey Hussle's song, um, Grinding All My Life. Okay. He's Kenyan, he lives in California. He produced one of the songs there. There's a producer who produced Omale's, uh, not Omale, Rema's, Rema's song uh, with A.G. Tracy. It's called K the Great, he's half Rwandese, half Kenyan. He did the song, the, the Rema song, he did it with Kelpie Vibes, some a Nigerian producer called Kelpie Vibes. So, this was also my album, um, and uh, shout out to Cize. Cize is a colleague of mine who I work with in the studio. So we worked on the album, put it out last last year. Yeah, last year. So even I'm wondering, hey, guess asking me for music. Hey, some consume your Kwanza. Imagine. <laughs> been a year. Kwanza. Hey, what is that? Nayo Kwanza. Yeah, but um, in terms of the MC. Mm. Hey, I've done all the big shows. Actually, like I, I, I watched you at Rema just yes. two, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. and I love the energy. I love the vibe.
Thank you, you so know, much. You know, you are up there with the likes of Combox, Box, who's yeah. been in the industry for, for long. long time. She's smashing it and yes. she's doing her thing. And then you came on with like a fresh energy and yes. I really, really enjoyed it. Yes. Very refreshing. Yes. Um, so do you enjoy him singing more or do you enjoy singing more and rapping more? Um, I can say I enjoy both of them. Mm. Don't be diplomatic. No, for real. Because you get to engage with the fans. Okay. When you're on stage, you're engaging them live, live. Right. When you're making music, they're consuming it in their bedrooms, mm. in their workplaces. Mm. Like even right now, we were listening to enjoyment in your workplace, yeah. and you were enjoying it. Yeah. So you get to you get to connect with the fans mm. in different forms. And for me, like connecting with the fans is is, is a blessing and just. Being able to make people smile and jump to your songs or mm. be, being on stage and telling guys to put their hands up and they're putting their hands up. 5,000 people putting their hands up, you're like, yeah? It's, you know, actually, so it's just it's, the connection, yeah. yeah. So they're both in the same place. I enjoy, I enjoy doing both of them and it's, like, and it's a blessing, so I'm humbled. Okay, amazing. Yeah. Good. Yeah. When you were in school, did you ever know that the art is you know, where your heart is? <laughs> or you went out there to do something totally unrelated? Okay, so let me tell you, eh, eh, that's a very nice question. Okay. So primary school, I wanted to be a footballer mm -hmm. because I could kick. I can. I still can kick a ball. Mm. I'm here with my sweatpants. You I know. can yeah, see. Yeah. <laughs> I can still kick a ball. And then high school, um, first two years, I wanted to be a pilot. I'm over there acing my physics. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then on the last quarter of high school, I'm like, oh, I can. I, can, I got into the studio. Yeah. Made a song called Killing Money Buzz on the trope of KICC, okay. which went viral. You know, and we're rapping alongside the calligraphs and the Abbas Kubafs. That time, calligraph wasn't that big. Shout out to calligraph. Uh, Abbas was there. Abbas Kubaf. Yeah. Kariobangi South. And yeah. now, the money boys, then these people are respecting us, you yeah. know. So, yeah. So, that's how my passion for music started. And I never, ever, not, um, imagine, believe it or not, this is my second year MC. What? Only? Only. Seems like you've been doing it for a while. No, yeah. But it seems like I've been doing yeah. it for a while. I think back in the day I wasn't taking, I wasn't, it wasn't like, it was just for fun. Mm. Shout out to DJ Case, this is this guy called DJ Case. Of course yeah. I know DJ Case. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Case. Case, I remember doing shows with him and uh, Miga, Kiambu, Miga, Hakuna Matata back in the day. Mm. Him giving me the mic, Krim de la Krim giving me the mic, so I'm just like, and for me it was just, oh, yo, yo, you know, I'm, I'm on stage and I'm yeah, on the mic. Yeah. You know, and then it got serious and I've, I was like, oh, I can make money off of this. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> and shout out to DNG. I don't know if you guys remember DNG. Of course. Um, yeah, DNG was the best MC that Kenya ever had. Yes. But he moved into politics and I was like, oh, mm. you're not a politician. Mm. So there's a void. <laughs> so, so you yeah, just stepped so the, in. So I just stepped in and I was like, yo, I'm the number one MC, man. No. Yo, it's B, my name's BV Accurate, number one MC in Kenya. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. the confidence. Yeah. So, you know, when you're on stage and as you said, like telling 5,000 people, jump, 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 and they're actually yeah. listening to you. Yeah. Like, does it give you that kind of power? Like you feel powerful <laughs> at that moment. Yeah. Leave politics. Yeah. You're powerful at that moment. Yes, yes, yes. I, you know, yeah, like when, you, when I hold the mic like this, yeah. I'm in control. Yeah. I'm the master of ceremony. Right. If I, go, if I say go left, they go, go left. left. <laughs> if I say you're DJ, switch off the t run that music back or yeah. turn off the music this is the power this is the power yeah. Mm. yeah so you know the funny thing is when he just came in and he started asking me all kinds of questions oh how old are you have you been doing this for a long time for a moment i thought you were actually a journalist and i'm the one who's being interviewed Dude, yeah, yeah. yeah no for me, i was <laughs> just like okay if i'm having a conversation with someone, yeah. i need to know who they are yeah so that's why i was asking all those Interesting. questions yeah for a second i'm like maybe he did journalism in school <laughs> what did you study in school? You still didn't tell film, me. I did film and TV production. Interesting. So that's yeah. what that was. You, that and was she your. She studied microbiology. She undergraduate. Undergraduate. <laughs> and then she did journalism. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. cool. So you did film and TV production. Why yeah. you wanted to become a director at some point? Um, or I'm producer. a director. You are? I'm a director. Okay. Um, Koljax, you play Jana Olichoma. I directed that video. Right. And I if. Like my Insta story, that's where I show my skills sometimes. Mm. Like my stories are not the same as mm. other people's. You'll see effects, I don't yeah. know what. And yeah, I did film. I'm a certified film director. Interesting, okay. Yeah, that's what I did in school. Yeah. So for me, I did film, <laughs> this will sound so bad, but I did film just as an avenue of making extra cash. Shout out to Eno Solik. Side hustle. Side hustle, shout out to mm. Eno Solik. I s I saw Enosolik go from being a university student in uh, University of Nairobi 
to one of the best video directors out there, you know? Mm. Buying his bands, I'm like, hey. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, hey, this girl's starting yeah. business. Yeah. Shout out to Seth God as well. Yeah. Seth God did business and he's making money off of doing funny clips on Right. Yeah. You know, it's interesting that you mentioned that because I feel like this industry that we're in, the creative yeah. industry, it's limitless. You can actually do anything. You do As you anything. said, you can become a comedian and make money off of clips. Yeah. You can go and become a video director and make exactly. money. You can become an MC and, and make, make money. money. Um, yeah. You know, when you told your parents that, look, this is what I want to do. We yeah, told your to family, mom. Shout your to my granny mom, right now. your granny. <laughs> you actually granny, mentioned yeah. that your granny is watching. watching. That's yes. so cool. Yeah, that's so, so, you know, yeah. when, when, you, when you told them and you broke yeah. the news to them that, look, this is what I want to do. I want to venture into music and yeah. MCing and hip hop and rap. Yeah. How did they react? What was their reaction? I feel like um, I'm enough to have people who are understanding. Okay. They were like, okay, you want to do that? Uh, maybe you should go and do business. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> of course, they always yeah, did. Like, yeah, go business, go yeah, for yeah, science, go, yeah, yeah. law. Shout out to my family for being so supportive and, and listening to me, mm -hmm. you know, because now they are seeing the fruits, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now they're seeing the fruits, so. So yeah, um, I guess uh, by God's grace, everything just worked out. It worked out. out. Yeah. Okay. Any yeah. any new plans? You know, you said that you're going to be hosting a few events later in the year. <laughs> Are you excited for anything? Yes. Yeah, so what's like, your goal? What's your goal what's in terms goal? of your vision board, right? Yeah, my vision board. Where do you want to be in the next, like, let's say, two years? I, I won't even ask five. Two, two years. years. Yeah. Wow. Two years. Maybe a I bucket wanna, list of okay. things that you want to do, achieve, uh, jump off a plane, <laughs> fill uh, up a stadium. MC yes. for 20,000 people. I would love to. I would love to. It's very good you fill up a stadium. I felt like Rema should have been done in a stadium. Yeah. Because there are a lot of people. If the, if, if, if the organizers are watching. Shout out to Baraza. <laughs> Baraza, if the next gig I know you're going to do a big one, you told me. So let's, let's go to Nyayo Stadium yeah. or Castlevania. Why not? Yeah, let's do it, man. Mm. Because if it's a very uh, big artist coming, we can definitely fill a stadium. Absolutely. With, with enough security yes. and things done properly. So vision board, next two years, what do you want to do? Um, uh, maybe be a ba brand, uh, eh, brand, brand ambassador for, okay. for one of these uh, EABL brands. Okay. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. some of us partake yes. in our free time. Yes. What else? Um, be, I want to shoot videos for artists. Okay. I want to get that artist money. Okay. I'll be director. You're gonna direct the videos. Yeah, nice. Get that money. That's in two years' time. What else do I want to do? Um, I want to cement myself as a corporate MC as well. Uh, do you want to do corporate Skira. MCing? Sorry? Really? You want to do yeah. corporate MCing? Why not? It's money. Okay. It's okay. Just the money. Shout out Chris Kirua for giving me a green light. Carter as well. Um, yeah, I want to get into corporate MCing as well. Uh, I think I can MC a wedding. I've never done that, but I think I can do a pretty good job. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I want to venture into. In terms of music, um, I want to... I've done hip hop, I've right. done R&B, but right. they have done, I have, I think, one of the biggest R&B songs, mm -hmm. not the biggest, shout out to Soul and Viri, those are my friends, mm -hmm. but it's somewhere there with, with five, half a million views, and it was a collab, I imagine. What's the name of the song? It's called Come Closer. Okay. <laughs> shout out to you if you've, watched, if you've heard Come Closer, we're going to play to you after. after okay, Cole we'll Jax will do the thing. <laughs> yeah, so um, uh, what, what else, the last thing, the last thing, what am I leaving out? I want to keep fit. I want to keep uh, God in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to have healthy relationships, not toxic ones. Eh? Mm. I want to, uh, yeah, I just want to be the best version of myself. I like that. Yeah. Be the best version, version of, of yourself. Yeah. Do you know, it's, it's, it's nice to know that at your age and like with all the things that you're doing, yeah. you're still connected to God, number one. Yes. You want to have a healthy relationship with God. Yes. And number two, you also mentioned that you want to have healthy relationships. Chips, yes. Right? Yes. Do you ever come to the point where you're like, man, that ex was toxic. Let's write a song about her. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. I've written songs. Wow. Really? Oh, man, I've written songs. Okay, okay. I had a whole album. Album EP called Pathways to the Heart. After Heartbreak. After Heartbreak. Wow. Damn. But uh, it's a growth, and the other day I was actually listening to that album, and I was like, oh, oh, this guy wrote an album. <laughs> Who is this guy? <laughs> yeah, this guy, yeah, this guy wrote an album yeah. off of a heartbreak. But it's life, and we have to embrace heartbreaks, we have to embrace new people getting into our lives, yes. new um, opportunities. Mm venturing into things that you want to venture. Mm. I think at the end of the day, if someone is happy and someone is content with what they're mm. doing, 
I think that's then that, yeah. that piece. Yeah. piece. Yeah. Yeah. As we wrap up, any message that you have for you know young artists who are trying to go into MC, yes. who don't know where what to go, start? which doors to knock, yes. how um, to get opportunities, yes. to like just you know basically get into that MC space. Yes. How how do they do Wadaw. that? Kama mnataka kukuwa number one MC, ama mnataka kukuwa number one artist, number one uh, mombe mwenye zimungu, yoni ya kwanza. Okay. Ya pili, um, usisare, don't give up. Don't give up. Um, ata ikiwa ngumu aje, don't give up. Just look for opportunities. I will take what I say. Right, right. That's all I can say. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I, I really enjoyed this conversation. We I have really to listen did. to your song, by the way. Yes. So Cole Jax is going to Cole play Jax, next. Please play me um, Jana Ulichoma. Jana, okay. I directed Jana Ulichoma. Um, yeah, that's how I look on the TV. That's, that's how you My look. My fans, say Wait. maybe. <laughs> 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 Maybe you can give out your Instagram handles yeah, right. and um, YouTube page so that guys can yes. follow you, watch your music, listen to your music. Yes, um, uh, on Instagram, be the accurate. The first three people that follow me right now, I'll follow them back. Hey, what's <laughs> up? I like that. Yes, yeah, so uh, Instagram, be the accurate. Twitter, be the accurate. Snapchat. Come on, Snapchat. What now? Come on, Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat. BV Accurate. YouTube. My YouTube page is BV Accurate. Number one, number one MC in Kenya. I'm so happy that I'm here on Easy Friday. Shout out to Kojax for calling me in the morning. I was so vexed. I was like, Hey, you want to get to be? I'll come because it's you. Kojax, yeah. we we were, is my colleague. We worked before, so I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. In the presence of a lovely lady interviewing me. So yeah. But okay, BC, keep it locked, keep it easy. Friday, be the accurate amount. Bless. Sad to sign now. Thank you so much, Cole Jacks. Over to you.